Thank you, Chairman Moran. And, and uh, let me echo also, Secretary Vilsack, what was said about you. I, th I think you've done an excellent job as Ag Secretary. I think sticking in there for six years really makes a different difference as a Cabinet Secretary because by doing that, you really learn the department and you learn the problems and then you focus on them and work with us to come up with solutions. I, I uh, also just want to echo what others have said about family farms. I think if you go back to the history uh, of the Farm Bill, the idea was helping family farms, and, and uh, uh, I think uh, we could do a lot more there. I see in my state uh, younger people going back and doing uh, small farming, and, and if we could try to work with the Farm Bill to, to give them the support to stay there, I think that would be a, a, a welcome uh, thing to happen. But let me ask you a little bit about water infrastructure, Secretary Vilsack. Uh, coming from a state where water infrastructure is a top priority in almost every community, it's critically important that we have strong support for water and wastewater disposal grant programs and the additional resources to provide technical assistance, which is a real issue, as you know, in some communities that have no ability to, to do uh, technical assistance, uh, and make sure that those, go, those grants go to the communities with the most need. Uh, we currently have many low-income communities near the U.S.-Mexico border, known as colonias, uh, that have an urgent need for water infrastructure, no way to pay for their water infrastructure needs, and are left to find the funding. And according to the, a recent GAO report, the cost of replacing critical infrastructure in rural communities like these is estimated to be more than $140 billion in coming decades. Um, USDA is not the only agency that provides funding and technical assistance uh, to rural communities for water infrastructure. Can you tell me about your agency, your interagency, interagency cooperation to ensure that these rural communities are being served with an all-hands-on-deck effort by the federal government? Uh, Senator, I'd say, first of all, our budget would support 1,300 uh, water projects uh, in terms of wastewater and uh, water treatment. Uh, and that would bring to a total of, um, I think, in, in excess of 8,000 projects that we've funded in the time that I've been secretary. Uh, secondly, we do work with sister agencies, EPA uh, and others, uh, to make sure that we coordinate uh, our resources and we're using them most efficiently. And third, uh, we are now encouraging uh, the private sector uh, to get engaged and involved in investing in these infrastructure projects. The challenge is that in order to get capital markets interested, we need to figure out how to bundle uh, these projects. Uh, they're not interested in funding a two or three million dollar project in New Mexico, but they would be very interested in funding a hundred projects ac around the country. Yeah. And so we are now in the process of working with the Treasury Department and others to try to figure out how we could potentially bundle. Uh, we've had a, 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 an assessment of our own portfolio to determine what the strengths and weaknesses of that would be. Uh, so we are trying to look at all areas to try to increase uh, investment. Do you, as Secretary Vilsack, do you believe the USDA has uh, adequate resources to provide technical assistance to these communities with the most need? <laughs> you asked me if I have adequate resources. I suppose I, 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 suppose I should answer no. Uh, uh, but let me just say this. W whatever you all deem is appropriate, we will try to use in the most efficient and effective way to reach as many pro people as possible. That is why we're reaching out to the uh, private sector. It's why we've also worked with CoBank to create a $10 billion infrastructure fund uh, so that we can figure out ways. If we can't say yes, uh, we've got somebody else who can. Um, we're going to do as uh, – I know that we can, we can support 1,300 projects based on the budget that we've submitted, um, and I think we have the adequate staff to be able to do that. Yeah, thank, thank you, and we, we want to work with you on that. Just to, I know my time's running out, a quick question. We have two communities in southern New Mexico. Um, they're designated uh, colonies called Chaparral and Sunland Park, and they're near, they have high poverty rates, uh, limited public sector funding, and many miles from the New Mexico city of Las Cruces, but they're uh, close to the city of El Paso, but they don't get any help. Uh, and so these communities need rural development funds for critical housing projects and infrastructure improvements. Uh, would you work to, with me to ensure these two communities do not fall through the cracks uh, by granting a waiver making them eligible for rural development assistance? Uh, 
Yeah, I, at this point in time, I'm not sure I have the permission from Congress to do that, but okay. I would be happy to work with uh, folks to try to create as much assistance and help. And if we can't, uh, if we can't provide help, then maybe we can steer them to an agency or an entity that can. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.